Hi everybody, welcome to Sucks to Suck, and my name's Caitlin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today we're going to do a little video on watering. Watering our Crassula. This is Crassula perforata ivory towers. This is Crassula rupestris. <laughs> Really gorgeous color right now. Really beautiful. And this one is Crassula Marchandii. I believe it's Marchandii or Marchandi. And it's called the Mermaid Crassula. Like the mermaid tails. Kind of fun, isn't it? Beautiful color. It colored up really gorgeously. All right, so we have that one. Then we also have our Krasla Buddhist Temple. Pretty dehydrated right now. And if you can hear. That's dry. And then my beauty, my little tiny beauty. Primnocetum, little gem. It's so tiny. I had no idea how tiny I was going to be, but it's really cute, I think. Okay. So, I do want to talk about this Crassula perforata ivory towers real fast. I don't know if you can really tell, but it's dehydrated. So if I were to bring it this way, do you see these? They're not plump, they're like deflated looking, they have wrinkles. That means these are ready for a nice, good drink. And if the leaves are like bendy, like this, and they're squishy, that means it's time to water, okay? And if you do this, and you see how dry it is, yeah, it's time to water. Next, my Crassula rupestris. I just, you know, pinch the leaves ever so slightly, and they're not as bad as the Crassula perforata, but you can tell it may need some. So another way to tell if your succulent needs is going to a little bit deep, an inch or two down into the soil, and if it is completely dry, you'll feel it. Feels just like dirt, you know, not even like soil. So I know for a fact these are, this one is in need of water because you can even see on this tiny, tiny mermaid's crassula that it's kind of getting squishy and wrinkled. So all we're gonna do today, get my handy dandy water bottle, is water. I like to soak it really, really well and let um, the water fall through. And if it pools underneath, let the roots from the bottom get a good drink as well. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of give it another drink. And then I'm gonna put it to the side a moment. Let's go ahead and get this.
This one hasn't really colored up. You can kind of see some pretty edged red edge, just a tad, but it really hasn't colored up like you I've seen other craftsless. Let's do this one again. I mean, Buddhist temple. Try not to get them on the leaves, but if you do, I like to go like this. So the problem with not putting your tiny succulents in a bigger pot is that they dry out quickly. So just make sure you give them a really good soak. You know, let them soak it for, for a good while. So all the soil is nice and, whoopsie. <laughs> give you an update once all of these have had some good drink for a few days and I'll give you a little update. Thank you so much guys. Please subscribe and follow and have a beautiful night and I'll see you later. Good night.